So you want to be able to count duplicates in Microsoft Excel. In my scenario, I've got a list of branches and I want to count how many times they're duplicated, if at all. Okay, let's see how this can be done. The first task is to get the list of unique branch names. Now there are two ways that we're going to be able to achieve this. And the method you use will depend on the version of Excel that you have. Now the first method I'm gonna show you here is gonna work for any version of Excel. But the second method you will find works better if you have a more recent version of Excel, such as Excel 365. But let's start off with the method that's gonna work for any version of Excel. So our first task is to get the list of unique branch names. And the way we can do this in any version of Excel is to select our list. So I click in the column heading and then use Control Shift down arrow key to select down to the last consecutive value. Control Backspace to get back to the active cell or the top. Control C to copy. And then I'll click into F1 and press Enter to paste. So that gives me a list of all the branches duplicated. Now in column F, I want to extract the unique values. And to do that, I go to the data tab on Excel's ribbon. And in the data tools group, I click on this button, remove duplicates. It'll ask me in this scenario whether I want to expand the selection. It's thinking that I might because I have this duplicates column, but I don't. I want to continue with the current selection. Then I click on remove duplicates and then just click on OK. It'll tell me that 10 duplicate values have been found, but the 20 unique values remain. So I'll just click on OK. So now I've got the unique list of branch names. So how do I count duplicates? Well, in G2, I'm going to use the count if function. It has two arguments, range and criteria. Now range is the range of cells that you're counting within. So for us, that's B2 down to the bottom of the list. So I click into B2, control shift down arrow key to select down to the last consecutive value. Now I need to lock that reference because I'm going to be copying the formula down. So I'm going to press the F4 key on my keyboard. Now what that'll do, if I just move this screen tip out of the way, is the F4 key put the dollars in those cell references. You can see them there. If the F4 key doesn't work on your computer, then please type the dollars in. You can see where they're positioned there. So that's the range of cells I'm counting within, comma, and my criteria is here. I'm counting how many times Portsmouth appears in this list. So then I close the bracket and press enter, and then copy this down. Now this actually isn't the correct answer, because it's not counting how many duplicates there are for each branch, it's counting how many times the branch name appears. So for example, Portsmouth only appears once, so there are no duplicates. Depending what you're wanting to do and what you're wanting to calculate, you may wish to subtract one from your answer. So Portsmouth has no duplicates. And if I copy this down, it'll calculate how many duplicates there are for each branch name. Okay, exactly the same scenario, but we're going to use the unique function to extract the unique branch names. So this is instead of using remove duplicates. So what I would do with the unique function is I'll type it into F2. And all I have to do in this scenario is use this one mandatory argument, array, which is the range of cells I want to extract unique values from. So I'd start in B2, control shift down arrow key, control backspace to get to the active cell and then close the bracket. So what I'm asking Excel to do is to return the unique values from the range B2 to B31. If I press enter, it does exactly that. Now to calculate the duplicates, the same as the last method, equals count if. The range is B2, control shift down arrow key, control backspace. But we're not gonna lock it in this scenario, and you'll see why in a moment. Comma, criteria is F2. Now, 
F2 contains a formula that spilled results down into the surrounding cells. And I can actually refer to all of those spilled values just by putting a hash at the end of F2. You can see it selects all those values that this formula in here has returned. Now, if I close the bracket, press enter, it automatically copies that formula down because I'm referring to that spilled array of values in column F. And once again, I'm going to put my minus one in. So I am actually counting the number of duplicates rather than the number of occurrences. And I get the same results as before. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.